Apple extends the self-repair program to add M1 and Pro and Max MacBooks. After the successful launch of the self-service repair program that initially targeted iPhone 12, 13, and SEs, MacBooks are finally getting parts availability. And the parts available are actually surprisingly comprehensive. Looks I good. will read them now. Logic boards, displays, batteries, trackpads, keyboards, keycaps, touch ID sensors, hinges, screws, lid angle sensor, MagSafe board, antenna module, vent module, fans, coolers, audio board, flex cables, uppercase, and bottom case. The fact that they actually have chassis components available is impressive. That's the only word I can really use for it. I have not seen that before. Mm, Steam Deck. This, this, can you buy a chassis for the Steam Deck? I'll look it up. If, yeah, if you want to check that, because I know I've had I know I've had conversations with Microsoft around uh, that Surface um, <clears throat> component that we bent trying to get it open, and they were like, no. Uh, so the fact that Apple is making these available is pretty freaking cool. With that said, the tools provided are similar to the tools provided for phones, including the yep. option to rent a toolkit for seven days at $49. They do. Back plate and front plate. Okay, good guy, Valve. 25 bucks each. While purchasing these parts for ourselves, we noted that it was possible for M1 Max SKUs to purchase logic boards that did not match the original configuration. So additional memory, more GPU cores, and more storage were all available. It was also possible to purchase weaker configurations, including M1 Pro. The store indicated that we would only get a $378.40 rebate from downgrading our most expensive MacBook Pro to the least expensive option. It's not clear if this is a bug or not, but the fine print says that selecting the wrong parts may prevent completion of the repair. So it sounds like they might actually just ship the wrong thing if you order the wrong thing. Pricing in general appears to be high, considering the cost of the devices themselves, presumably to prevent people from simply assembling their own MacBooks. <laughs> Not that they could anyway, because the parts are locked behind a serial number filter. Um, so go f*** yourself, Apple. Discussion question. Would this kind of parts availability have completely prevented the iMac Pro saga and reduced it from a massive undertaking to merely quiet grumbling at pricing? Yes. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah, I mean, it was like a five thousand dollar computer or whatever. I would have, I would have gladly paid five hundred dollars extra for a logic board, just to be able to fix it. That was what I asked for at the time. Uh, I still think that there's absolutely room for them to do better, but this would have prevented most of my anger. 